everyone, it's Chrissy again. I have just one more thing that I realized I didn't spend enough time on in the brief. We talked a lot about suicidal characteristics and things that you see that might lead to suicide behavior, but we didn't spend a lot of time talking about suicide methods. I don't like to spend a lot of time on these briefs talking about it. However, um, I do want to spend some time talking about access to lethal means. Um, suicide is completed most likely in service members by uh, use of lethal means. Most of the time, a service member will be going through a life situation. They don't have good problem solving skills. They have an inability to emotionally regulate and they have low frustration and tolerance. I feel this way, I don't like feeling this way, and I just want to not feel this way any longer. And this access to lethal means means that I can end this feeling immediately. So one of the things that can help is that commands can actually ask for a service member's um, firearm. Or if you are, know someone who is experiencing um, life situations that are challenging or has stated a lot of these general feelings that we talked about earlier, I am alone, I am a burden, and I am not afraid to die, that might be a good time to say, do you have access to lethal means? And then either make sure that they have a gun lock and or that they, pr they put their um, firearm in the possession of someone else. These are just a couple of things to think about. And I'm gonna turn my whiteboard over to uh, my assistant here that who's been asking for it all day. Um, again, thanks for watching. Everyone stay safe out there. We're really looking forward to seeing all of you again when this is over, okay? Bye.